All right, what's up everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we're gonna be doing, this week we're doing the ne next video in my Samurai Warriors 1 edit character walkthrough. This is my 100% mission completion, item completion, fifth weapon guide, all that stuff. We're doing it all well on our way. Um, we just did last week the video on the Battle of Nagashino where we just kind of went through it the way we're supposed to. Now we're gonna do it and unlock the secret missions. I'm gonna kind of show y'all what to do to make it as not as awful as possible because this level gets really hard even when you're doing the level right because the whole point is your side's supposed to lose which sucks so uh, what we're going to do is i'm going to show you kind of what i do to make this level not absolutely terrible so be sure to like subscribe comment and share help me get to a thousand subs y'all are great and we are going to be going along so first off they say start with a siege on nagashino castle you're just gonna blow right past that objective. Just completely ignore it, run away from there, don't even do it, because that's gonna be the mission that we're gonna unlock. And the whole rest of the thing I'm talking about here is kinda of what sets the level up as best as possible. So what we're gonna do is basically run up to Mount Chiaosu here and just get rid of everything up here. So you, what you're gonna want is because I don't really, Katsuyori kinda of sucks on this level. You don't want him to die. So what you're trying, what I'm doing here is I'm I'm attacking here because one of his officers, this dude, Nobukimi Anayama, runs up here and dies in like two seconds if you're if you're not here. So what I'm doing is I'm just making it so that his officer doesn't die. So that even though his morale is gonna plummet, everyone's morale just drops like crazy on this level because it's the whole point is we're trying to show how stupid Katsuyori is and how smart Yukimura is. But I'm going to try to make it where he doesn't lose everything. So I'm saving his officer up here. <clears throat> also, when you, uh, uh, as you keep killing people, Yukimura's morale doesn't really plummet that much. His morale's pretty good because you belong to Yukimura in this level. So as a result of that, every general you defeat increases Yukimura a little bit, his morale just a little bit. Not a ton, but it's enough to kind of like keep him alive because he is in a stupid place now that you're not helping him with Nagashi no castle he's not in a good position for the ambush when that pops up now when the ambush pops up um, the Nagashi no general moves and that's the mission we want when Nagashi no's officer dude strikes out is I think what it says it says he strikes out when that happens I'm just gonna go ahead and save it real quick right here that's the mission that you want the dude that's in Nagashino Castle, like, I, I don't know how to say his name, but that dude will attack, and once he does, that's what you're going to want to see. And you're going to want to defeat him, not the ambush. If you defeat the ambush first, it'll fail the secret mission we're trying to do. So, don't defeat the, um, what's their names? Don't defeat the ambush party at all. It will ruin what you're trying to do here, and it's really annoying. So... For now, what I'm doing is just kind of running around, just wiping out all the attack forces for the Oda. Because again, I'm just trying to keep my side alive a lot, as much as possible. Because it just starts to get really depressing to watch every single person on your side die. So where we are right now, this is probably the best I've ever done it. We've got Katsuyori's officer alone, surrounded by troops up there. We've got all of the... Um, Except for Masakage, because he gets killed in the sniper thing. I think every single general on my side is alive right now, which is rare. So, there will probably be somebody who dies, but don't be don't be super bummed out about that. Um, what you're going to want to do, though, is come running up here, rescue Yukimura, because Yukimura is a commander on this level. He actually is a commander. You don't want to lose Yukimura. He's, if he dies, you lose. So, try not to lose him. Um, but try not to. I mean, you, you shouldn't. If you do, it's it's over. So, yeah, this is going pretty well. We have a lot of positioning on the map that's good right now. I'm going to just kind of run through here. I'm going to come up here. Fortunately, the Tadatsugu is attacking Yukimura, not Katsuyori. And I'm going to come up here and get rid of this dude. And then that'll be the one that will we'll, we'll have the final mission done. So... We go and we got him Enemy and yeah we did just lose a general in the middle of the map and again i i knew that was probably going to happen it's, it's very difficult to do this level without losing somebody 
you know, apart from Nasakage who gets killed in that cutscene thing. It's very difficult because your side, even when you're doing this level quote unquote well, it's still a complete disaster. But see, there you go. The enemy part, ambush party could not be eliminated, comes up if you uh, take out the right, this, this general. So like, that's what's kind of weird about this level is you really uh, have to be careful that you don't accidentally take out Tadatsugu. If you take out Tadatsugu, you don't, you will fail the secret mission. Like that's such a bummer. So, um, I have saved it, because we're really, I mean, again, look at how bad we're doing as a force right now. Like, Katsuyori is, like, totally dying. I'm trying to stop, uh, what's his name, KG here. You gotta try and knock him off the horse as early as possible, because, yeah, he'll keep moving, and it's really annoying. Also, yeah, the mission to defeat KG takes a long freaking time to ping, which is weird. So, be careful that you don't accidentally, I've done this before. You kill him before the mission pings, you just don't get that mission, which is really stupid. So, all little little nuggets of information here. So now, let's see, things all around here. We've got Nobutada, Oda, and a lot of people are heading towards Katsuyori. I'm trying to keep all of his generals alive. He has one general that's the southern tip general. That dude's never gonna, the other guy that we rescued that moved, he's fine. But we've got one of Tadakatsu's generals is right here. So let me get rid of him. He's not actually attacking uh, Katsuyori's other officer, which is good. Because Katsuyori does have another officer right here who has... Because, you know, Katsuyori's morale is completely bottomed out. I'm a little bit nervous for him. I'm going to come running back up here. He has a lot of troops around him, though. So, like, he shouldn't die... Unless, like, a general starts fighting him, then get there quickly. Because, uh, yeah, he's going to lose <laughs> pretty soon if you don't get there. Um, and then, oh, we lost that general. That's fine. I think he literally got defeated by r random units because it didn't even let me know that. So that's pretty embarrassing for his general. <laughs> Just got defeated by nothing. It's fantastic. But still, this is going very well. We still have his other officer, so he hasn't completely bottomed out in his morale yet. And we have three generals left here. I think we've lost two of them now. I think two died. I wasn't really paying attention. I was just trying to obviously keep everybody alive here. So now we've re-secured the strongholds for our general here for Katsuyori. We're going to wait here because Hanzo is going to come jumping through that little ninja path that he uses on his level, which again... Respect the continuity there, Koei, for making that a thing. But yeah, he's going to come running through there. He'll pop up right here next to us. So, yeah. It's good to kind of just, in the meantime, just take out generals or troops here. Because, yeah, Katsuyori is very weak and very pathetic and doesn't know how to do anything. And it's very bad. And because my attack is so high from the way I made this officer, I can, you know, basically three-shot Hanzo, which is pretty nice. So now we're going to come running... We're going to find where those two generals are under Nobu Naga and Ieyasu. We're going to go running over there. Now we're going to get the mission to... Uh, we're going to get a mission to defeat Nobunaga. But since I already did that, I'm not super motivated to do that. I'll try to get to it, but I'm not worried about it. What I'm going to do is basically secure every single gate that I can. Because I want to. Um, that's just part of my thing that I always do. Where I want to maximize Yukimura's troop number. I like doing that. It's fun to do that for me. Um, so that's why I'm going to run around the map and secure every single stronghold that I can find. Because I like to do that. And I'm also pretty embarrassed that Yukimura hasn't secured that stronghold. So I think because Yukimura didn't secure that stronghold, um, Katsuyori is retreating a different direction than normal. He's retreating to Mount Chiasu. And again, that's why you uh, you got to be careful and see what I'm doing now is I'm going to bypass Tadakatsu and go straight to Katsuyori because Nobunaga's officer is actually running, beelining it straight towards Katsuyori, which makes me nervous for sure. You want to make sure no officers of the enemy ever encounter Katsuyori because if they do, his uh, health just drops like insanely fast. So I muso there because I didn't want to deal with the stupid... Um, Stupid uh, muskets shoot me off my horse. Why well, I just like went ahead and moose out there. 
gonna go ahead and get rid of some of these units here since Katsuyori is moving. I guess Tadakatsu is now walking towards me as well, which is kind of nice. Um, Yukimura is actually finally doing something for the side here. He's actually trying to keep Katsuyori alive, which is nice. He really kind of trolls this level and doesn't really do anything, which is hysterical. Even when you do the right mission, he just waits and doesn't charge ever. It's kind of awesome. So, I like the troll effect that Yukimura has on this map because for being the strongest general on, our, on their side, he really... He just takes Katsuyori's orders and doesn't even try to do anything else. And then we just get completely annihilated and it's hilarious. So, it's good stuff. I think it's hysterical. I'm going to come running over here now and defeat Ieyasu. Yukimura's got a lot of troops now because we're resecuring all the gates we lost. Actually, I'm pretty sure every gate on the map right now is owned by Yukimura because the two gates, the you know, two ga three gates we spawned with have all been resecured by the enemy and then resecured by me or Yukimura. So apparently Nobufusa died like literally in my sight there. I'm not really sure how that just happened because I wasn't looking at him and that doesn't work. So maybe he literally just got taken out right before I walked into sight. So again, you're getting that stuff's gonna happen, so don't be like too bummed because see then also we just Got the final mission done, or we, uh, Katsuyori retreated. So, there we go. Nailed it, beat it. The Nagatana weapon is very good, long range, super powerful. So, that's kind of the, re the, the, you know, how we did it was we basically did that loop around, then came through, defeated all the enemy generals, then, uh, Kept Katsuyori alive, re-secured all the gates up there, and then I was working on Ieyasu when the game ended. So it went well. We had three, we had two officers left, and Katsuyori's off sub officer was left too. So we had technically, I guess, if you want to count that, that's three generals. You know, I don't know if Konoichi counts. Kind of not really. So, but it was good. We did it. Not too bad. Um, that mission was obviously meant to be a kind of a colossal failure, so don't be too discouraged if your side struggles and dies and everything bad happens and all that. Because, yeah, it does kind of happen. So, yep, that's hopefully that helps. Enjoy the, hope you all enjoy the video, and be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Peace!